First tonight at 10, we continue our coverage of a story we first brought you last week. All about a 46 year old man who died after being attacked by a pack of dogs in South Kansas City. Over 300 dog bites, over 500 stitches and 100 lacerations. It happened two weeks ago. KSHB 41 reporter Megan Abundance following through with family members as they are still searching for accountability. Now we have to warn you, some of you may find the content of this story disturbing. A 23 minute surveillance video shows seven dogs viciously attacking and killing Chris Colbertson. It was in front of Holly Lane's home. I tried to help him and then I had to go back because there were so many of them I had to go back and get the golf club. Holly was also severely bitten, which is why she protects her son on his walk to and from the bus stop. My leg's bad, but I'm alive. I mean, he's not. Chris Colbertson's sister, Angela, wants answers. Awful. I mean, I've been trying to find out what's going to happen with these dogs and this owner, and I still yet have zero answers like the last time that we talked. <laughs> We too have asked for records repeatedly from KCPD and KC Pet Project on these dogs and addresses. City code states no one in KC is to have more than four dogs. My question is why they didn't take the dogs that night and why they're still don't have all the dogs. We saw at least two dogs left on the property. Colbertson also has concerns that the dogs could be up for adoption. KCPP would not comment on the dog's location or status. Those dogs cannot go into another home. Those dogs are nuisances. Neighbors in the East Marlboro neighborhood explain reporting repeated problems with the confinement of the dogs. The actual gate, they've pushed the gate up so that they could get up under the bottom of the gate. The dogs sit there and tug and tug and tug at the fence, like literally, and then they rip holes in the fence. And there's constantly holes, like there's so many holes in that fence, they put a brick in front of it. They come, they attack my dogs, I have to chase them off with six. I have two smaller children, they come out, they're terrified, like they don't want to come outside because those dogs come up here barking and they're scared of them. Pet Project has not reached out to me, has not returned my phone calls. None of this will bring my brother back, but it could possibly stop it from happening to somebody else. The city service contract for the Animal Services Department expired last spring. KCPP has been operating under an amendment to the contract. Discussion of the city's service contract RFP is expected next month. Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.